Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young and old, they think the old music's better, but I'm not so sure. And today we're going to do something a little different. So one of the subscribers on the channel is actually a, uh, by their description, a hip-hop label. I usually say rap, because I consider hip-hop the entire culture and rap the music, but... I think the language is changing now and people say hip-hop more and more so they are self-described and uh, I got sent this le link to um, a song called Egyptian Arts that was just dropped I think this week on Bandcamp by Opal Kenobi and uh, I got contacted by Jamie the owner and I p believe he pronounces it Jamie I could be wrong about that but uh, yeah, anyhow, he asked me to hit this up, and I thought, well, that's a good idea if I can support his um, fledge, fledgling, is that a good word, fledgling label. Uh, I'd like to do that, and there are some lyrics on here. We page down, we got some lyrics, so, uh, and I'm not sure if this is him here, if he does rapping on his own label, I'm not sure. I saw a, a picture that I thought was of him, and it looks a little bit like this guy, so I'm not sure, but he didn't say. So I'm going to go ahead and um, hit this up. Uh, hopefully, I like it, <laughs> right? So, uh, but let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and do this, and I will kind of put myself right here under his face. Opal Kenobi. I know nothing about this, but let's go ahead and uh, read the lyrics as we go along. Look. Let's get it. I hope these look, are the lyrics. Look, 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 look. Look, return to spark the filling. Yeah. The modern artist and art dealer who lost a filler. I packed the function with the funk and brought the substance. Keeping head knocking, jazz chops in the abundance. I got the gumption, keeping rhymes alive in the revival. I'm in my prime's arrival, eyes wide at the recital. Rivals' lines fall flat with flat line vitals. I'm bringing IMAX to earwax like vinyl. It's Titanic. I turn flows into tidal waves and flood the whole internet like it was the end of days. And the tales told you embellish, turn to relics. Even viral moments get wiped like antiseptics And all you're left with is the weight of your decisions Egos make collisions, new paths in metaphysics Rushing up with fake gives lessons, you better listen Dismiss them at your peril, the alternative's horrific Using programs to program us with televisions Keeping us in prison through the rate of debt to income School to prison pipelines, when you were a child All the poison was just bite-sized Look, they killing us softly, we're all refugees like Lauren Minds of war-torn no forewarning, forlorn with no hope and no scope to adjust When porn and alcohol substances was picking you up What's a remedy for a man as sick as I was? Lick shots off, pot smoke, get blitz in the club Hot tubs, pop bottles, hit the ritz in the tux Women in glitter, bubble baths, flicking yeah. the suds Rich as I was in taste, yet the spirit is poor While the spirits get poured, there's no fear of the Lord With no chill, but before you rebuild, you destroy Feudal efforts letting earthly treasures fill up the void I heard the no distort judge slamming a gavel before you give a retort but then it's too late look sometimes dust settles way before the dust settles fingerprints of blood look like rust over gunmetal rhymes give highs like schedule one drug levels numbers from teaching kids to duck under scud missiles look but no seances or tarot cards could predict this future of blue blood atom bombs drone strikes fentanyl new plagues catalog lock us up like dogs till we all got kennel call pressure boils and release Terror falls and repeats. Better tighten bootstraps. Eddie George, Tennessee. Catch me at the show. Nose bleeds at a mezzanine. To witness a terrific reciting these kept receipts. Look, and these flows can't be run a lease. You gotta pay to play at a minimum of ten apiece. While slanderers and bystanders get fed the sharks. I'm a child of God who went to school in the Egyptian arts. And then we see on both right and left sides that several hands are at work. It's quite obvious. Clearly the beginner's work, then a more skilled hand, and finally the master's touch. So I read about the, the aesthetic of the record label, which was to take uh, the glory days of the 90s rap, but also push it forward sonically, and I can totally get this. So there are all these references to 
the golden age of rap, if you consider the 90s the golden age, some people would consider the 80s. But um, where's this part here about, um, I like this part here, so they're killing us softly, we're all refugees like Lawrence. That's obviously a uh, reference to the Fugees who did a cover of Roberta Flack's Killing Me Softly, which featured Lauren Hill. And uh, mines are war-torn collapsing with no forewarning. So now we're back to how we feel about the modern era. Forlorn with no hope and no scope to adjust when porn and alcohol substances was picking you up. What's the remedy for a man as sick as I was? Lick shots off pot smoke, get blitzed in the club, in hot tubs, pop bottles. So that makes you think of all those uh, MTV videos from the early, yeah, early 90s with, uh, which, you know, I, I love, I love rap music, but some of those videos were, you got all the girls in the hot tub with the champagne and the gold jewelry, it's like, come on, <laughs> you know, I realize, I, I, I understand, you know, but there was uh, a part of it, uh, so if that's what you were, Hit the Ritz in a tux, women in glitter, bubble baths, flicking the suds. Yeah, you know, hopefully we've moved on from that, I hope. Uh, it was that gangsta thing, I know, that image of uh, everybody wanted to be Al Capone down in Mexico or something like that. But, uh, um, yeah, I like that. I like that line. So I'm not sure what the song's about exactly. It, it just brings up a lot of imagery to me and then he goes right back here talking about fentanyl now I don't know how long fentanyl has been around but I've only heard about it in the last maybe mm, four or five years so I would consider that uh, jumping us right back to the modern era um, those bleeds of the mezzanine yeah just a lot of good imagery here and he ends it with I went to school in the Egyptian arts I'm not sure what, what he means by that, but uh, yeah, so let's look at these uh, things here. Released October 1. So guys, this is only two days old. Produced by Jasu, Jaisu, mixed by Tony Suitcases. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. So... I heard some uh, horns in there too, some uh, which brought just a little touch of jazz element, and I love that. That uh, you know, one of the bands that I saw in concert. I haven't seen too many rap shows. I saw Public Enemy one time, but but I went down to a club to see Diggable Planets when their first album came out. I really liked those guys, and it was a, it was a good show in a um, you know a hot little club in the desert and I, you know that that sort of jazz jazz hop trip hop kind of thing I loved that that era I loved uh, Tribe Called Quest and loved all that stuff and I got just a taste of that in the uh, a little sample of the horns and I really liked that it brought in some good melody so what would I give this um, I give it a good rating. I um, and, and this is a good read. I give it a B plus. I liked it. Uh, this is good stuff, um, and it's pretty positive, and I like that. Uh, so, you know, I can relate to it more as a result of that. And uh, yeah, good lyrics. I would like to know. I don't know. I think they're stream of consciousness, don't you? Let me know what you think. I think these are very much stream of consciousness lyrics, and if I read them in that vein, I like them more. If it's supposed to mean something very specific, I missed it. Uh, but I enjoyed this track quite a bit, and yeah, Opal Kenobi, so two days old, guys. So this is what we're trying to do, build a community here. So if we have a record label, it's on the channel, I want to hit them back and I want to react to that. I thought it was a great idea, and I know a lot of you guys are making suggestions, but you could see how this was uh, a circular thing here that uh, that we want to have this 
community and go back and forth. So, Jamie, thank you for the link, for the suggestion. Good luck. Uh, I, I hope this blows up. I hope you do well with this. And thank you for suggesting the reaction. And as uh, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, hit the like subscribe button. It helps the channel grow. We're up past a thousand subscribers now, and so things are things are doing well. I'm grateful to all the uh, listeners. And as we say here in Mexico, buen dia. And that's my cat Henry wants to be fed. So double adios.